Welcome to Spitfire Mods. Uh, today we'd just like to show you um, our one of our typical mod kits. Um, it'll come to you with one of our business cards. It'll come to you with a mod chip, which is a 8-bit microprocessor, which simulates the rapid fire of the pulling the trigger at a rapid rate of speed. Um, the chip will come programmed with the different modes that you ordered. 8-mode, uh, 18-mode, 2-mode, 5-mode, whatever you ordered. Um, along with that, you get a small spool of wire. Uh, this particular kit has the six uh, cut colored pieces. You may also just get a solid colored um, spool of 30 gauge. Um, either one will do the job. Uh, there, It doesn't make a difference. Um, along with that, you'll have two 330 ohm resistors and a, mat and a um, diode for the matrix boards. Um, these two 330 ohms will go to your triggers, your right and left triggers, in line with your right and left triggers. The diode along with the 1K resistor will then pull the voltage through the LED on the matrix or with a CG controller you would just leak the voltage through with the 1K and um, that's how you'll light up your LED in the case of using the you know the, the mode indicator and the flashing in between modes. Um, that's the total of the kit. Uh, your chip is hot glued onto the board. You're wiring the rest of your wires and your other um, parts along with the, um, you know, following the installation guide. SpitfireMods.com has the install video uh, on it for you as well as um, the schematics so you can see how the wires actually get wired in. Uh, it's a good, good idea to go there and check that out before purchasing so that you know um, what you're up, up against there. Um, in addition to this, you'll need a little bit of solder um, to do the job, and you'll need, you know, your typical wire cutters, and um, it's always good to have a, uh, one thing we use is X-Acto knives, and X-Acto knives are very good for holding your wires in place and doing some of your finer work with that. Um, a hot glue gun uh, is not required, but it's definitely handy, and, um, you, you know, you need to tack your, your chip down onto the board when you install it. And, you know, then you can typically hot glue all the wires and everything into place, which makes it a very durable install. It doesn't come apart, and, you know, we've sold some years ago, and they're still still in service today. Haven't gotten a single one back for, for loose wires or anything like that, so it's a good idea to glue that down. Um, that's it. A couple little parts, and you're up and running. Thanks.